This video will cover how to create control measures and interventions, and also how to, ha how to add interventions e-signatures within the React Tech Analytics platform. A customer administrator can record control measures and interventions taken to help improve the risk levels apparent from the data and to set targets for risk exposure levels at a company and group level. Reports are then available to allow the effectiveness of these measures to be assessed. Log into your analytics account using your credentials. Control measures can be introduced company-wide and at a specific project or group level with implementation dates and a traffic lights status tracker. Control measures should be used to record proactive activity by the company to combat their risk. To add a control measure, from the top menu, click Data Project Manager. From the side menu, click Controls. Click Create New. If creating a company-wide control, leave the group blank. If creating a control for a specific project or group, choose a group from the drop-down list. Enter the detail of the control measure. Enter the benefit of the control measure. Enter the date the control was implemented. This can be left blank if the control measure hasn't been yet implemented. Choose a status from the drop down box. If you choose the completed status, there should be a date entered for when the control was completed. Then click Create. The control measure appears here. Go back to the dashboard page by clicking on Dashboards, then Dashboard from the top menu. Customize the dashboard so the control measure analysis report shows. To customize your dashboard, click Edit. Then select Add. Click the plus sign next to where the report says Control Measure Analysis TEP plus SEP. Then click Close. This report now appears here. Then click Save. The control measure analysis report is now displayed on the dashboard page. Select the filters as required. Control measures will then be displayed in this report to show you the effectiveness of the actions by highlighting any changes in the exposure following the completion of the action. For further information, Please, be, please see specific video on configuring dashboards from the support section on the React Tech website.
Interventions can be recorded to apply to specific operators. Interventions should be used when data has generated action, i.e. an operator has breached their action value or limit value on a particular day. Action was taken by management to address the issue and they want to record the action. These interventions can only be added with those by those with access to do so, but can be viewed by anyone with access to the analytics so there is full transparency. Interve intervention categories can be added within the analytics so that interventions can be added to the specific categories. To create an intervention category, click on Data Project Manager from the top menu, click on Intervention Categories from the side menu. Here, you can then create the name of your required intervention category by clicking on Create New, as well as tick box options for relating these categories to have SD, noise, exclusion zone breaches, or PPI interventions. Click Create and your intervention category will be listed. Interventions can be added to have social distancing, noise, or proximity data. To see what reports interventions can be added to, please see our reports user guide. As an example, on the toolbar, click Haves. Then click Operator Daily Exposure. Enter the required filter criteria from the filter options if required. Click the plus symbol next to the operator that you wish to apply the intervention to. Enter the detail of the intervention to include selecting an intervention category if required from the drop down menu category. Click Create. An employee can sign their name against an intervention record within the React Tech Analytics. This is possible with any touchscreen device or using the mouse controls of the device without a touchscreen. For have intervention signatures, there are two options. Option one, from the top toolbar, click haves. Then click operator exposure action. Then enter the required filter criteria from the filter options if required. Identify the intervention to be signed. A box will be available which can be signed using a touch screen or mouse movements. Once created, it is automatically stored. The date the signature is created is also captured. Two buttons are available to clear or reset the signature. Option two, on the top toolbar, click halves. Then click intervention list. Enter the required filter criteria on the filter options if required. Identify the intervention to be signed, then click on the details icon.
a box will be available which can be signed using a touch screen or mouse movements. Once created, it is automatically stored. The date the signature is created is captured. Two buttons are available to clear or reset the signature. Thank you for listening to this session on how to record interventions and control measures. For further information, please visit the support section on the REACTEC website.